it's almost good night because it's really quite late. I've had a bit of an issue uploading the previous video, which I upload on this iPad, which I also record on. So I had to wait for that to stop mucking about and actually get the video up. I'm not even sure if it's actually up. I need to check me. Um, please be an email from YouTube. Congratulations, your video is now online. Thank God for that. It took forever. Cut out halfway through this evening and I had to start all over again. Fun. Um, but I wouldn't expect anything less because it is Friday the 13th and um, yes, it's been a shitty day <laughs> as you would expect for Friday the 13th. Um, so I am going to start the weekend and finish the week off with a very, very special dram. Um, but that's going to be my second of two, but the first one's going to be really quite quick because there's not a lot I can tell you about it. Um, this was donated by um, Nick and Kathy, who run the, they're called The Whiskey Shop, but they're not part of The Whiskey Shop nation, uh, nationwide chain. Um, I think they were actually before The Whiskey Shop started, or at least that particular shop was. They took it over a few years ago, I think, um, which is in, not quite in the very center of Lincoln, which Lincoln is here. Um, it's just a short walk from the actual very city center up towards the cathedral. Um, this is what the shop looks like, and um, t little place stacked to the rafters of loads and loads of different types. Um, they, they're both um, interesting, they know what they're talking about. I was in Lincoln with work, I thought I'd drop by, and I literally just walked in and said, hello, my name's Ben, this is what I'm doing. Um, if you've got the capability of spreading the word, I left a card with them that's, that's got a couple of details on it and Nick turned around and went, oh, well, hang on a minute, I'll you know, have this and have this and I've got a sample of this. So I got four miniatures from them, I think, or four, four samples. There was a couple of, uh, couple of bourbons that he put into um, miniature box for me. And this one, which you've seen the title of the video already, is called Laugh Frog. So naturally you would think Laugh Frog, Lafroig, it's gonna be uh, you know, an unnamed island whis uh, Isla whiskey that is fairly off what, what it is. But I'm not sure whether you're going to pick this up on the label, but you would have seen it already on the title. But this is Laugh Frog, which is a single Highland malt scotch whiskey. So I was like, what? Hey, hang on, what, what's going on here? And Nick was stood there opposite me going, I don't know. I honestly, I have no idea. Um, we, we've got this, we've got some of them. Um, I don't know. This was about a month ago that I got it from um, the whiskey shop. I was actually back there um, last week and I popped in again and I said, look, I'm going to have Laugh Frog soon. Um, what, do you know anything about it? What is it? Because every time I put Laugh, Laugh Frog whiskey or Laugh Frog into Google, it just comes up with Lafroig. It's like, you mean Lafroig, surely? You, are you an idiot? Why are you spelling it like that? Can't find anything about it. So he said, well, it's from a company called Select Drams. So I rang them today, knowing that I was going to do this. I've been sat on this for a while, just not knowing. And it's a Highland Malt, and I'm doing Highland Malts at the moment, so why not give it a go? So I rang up Select Drams, and I said, look, I am, I've got a miniature that's called Laugh Frog. You guys sell it. It's on your website. What is it? So she said, well, I'm not supposed to tell you, but it's this distillery. So I was like, oh, right, okay, that's interesting. That's not a problem. Listen, this is what I'm doing. I'm doing a charity challenge. I'm trying to drink, I'm trying to drink, I'm trying to sample and review 366 whiskies in 360 days, raising money for charity. I'm recording it tonight. Are you happy if I tell the viewers what distillery it is? Um, I'd rather you didn't, to be honest. So I know something you don't know. I know what this is, but I can't tell you because I've said to her that I wouldn't tell you. And she actually turned around and said, "What? who is it you're raising money for? So I told her, gave her a couple of details about it. She was like, oh, that's that's great. If you uh, if there's anything that we stock that you need to kind of you know make numbers up, if there's anything that we could help you out with, I'd be more than happy to donate. So Select Drams, fantastic. Go to Select Drams. They, all they do is miniature bottles. They've got a few 70 CLs and bits and pieces like that, but they basically specialize in miniature bottles and pretty much nothing else. So if you're after minis for presents, for weddings, just one-offs, they do some gift packs, all sorts of stuff, selectdrams.co.uk, I'll put the thing up now, um, now as well, um, and hopefully they might be able to help me just get towards the end. As I speak, um, and the reason that I'm having the next one is because it, I've just got some, uh, a couple more donations from Ollie Children at the Whiskey Exchange, um, I am, at the moment, I have enough to get to Dram 291, which is mind-blowing. Um, so I only need 75? 
Yeah, 70, 75 more drives only. Only, is that all? It, it's a lot still, but the fact that it's 75 out of 366 is quite something. Who knows how many I could get from select jams, but I'm still, I'm obviously still looking for 75. I have some spares. I have some essentially duplicates. So I've got a couple of different ages or different releases from a distillery that I either have done already or will do. That gets me to about 330, maybe even, yeah, about 330, that, that kind of chunk that I've got. But the challenge that I've set myself was to do 306 totally different, unique brands and distilleries. Now, I will put my hands up and say that I have done brands from the same distillery, but the way I'm working it is that if they're distinct enough, for example, Octomore is from Brooklady, but it's kind of a separate brand to Brooklady. It's, it's totally different to Brooklady. It's a different beast altogether that I'm, I'm satisfied with myself that I can consider that two separate brands, even though technically they're from the same distillery. So I hope you'll allow me that little flexibility. Otherwise, I've got no chance. I'm never going to do it. I'm waffling basically because I've got nothing else to talk about this because it's 40%. It's a single Highland malt whiskey. I know what the distillery is, but I can't tell you. I can give you a clue in that I haven't had the distillery yet. So that narrows it down a little bit. I've not had that many Highland um, malt whiskey, uh, Highland distilleries yet, um, but it's, it's one of the ones that I've not yet had. And I'm trying to think if I've got actually a sample of it. Yes, I think I have. So yeah, that's about as close as that's about as much of a clue as I'm going to give you. So I just hope that I don't drop the ball when I do the actual distillery that this is and go, oh, this was the one that was Left Frog. Do you remember that one? So we'll see. So I'm going in blind because I've got no preconceptions about what this is like because I've not had the other one yet, the official bottling. There's, there's a nice maltiness to it, but there's a kind of, almost like a dry hoppiness that is almost slightly lager-esque. Yeah, there's, there's kind of like a slight hoppiness to it, which really, it's not obvious, but it's just there in the background, but there's, a, there's quite a good sweetness to it. There's a nice maltiness to it. You could say there is some smoke on it, but it's almost negligent. Negligent, negligible, negligible. But there's a, a slight freshness to it as well. It's quite light. Colouring, I mean, the, the colour, difficult to tell whether it's had colouring or anything added to it. Um, but it is quite, it's quite a bright colour. But it's not a bad nose at all. It's not particularly intense, but what's there is, is pleasant enough. You know what? That's not actually that bad. It's quite smooth. It's a little bit of oakiness on the end, kind of a woody oakiness on the end, but it's not drying. It's not overpowering. It's quite fresh. It's very light. Very, very easy drinking. The, to be honest, there's nothing wrong with this at all. There's nothing particularly outstanding about it, but looking at that label, it's not particularly awe-inspiring. And to be honest, if I got given that as a present, I'd be like, it's not going to be that good, is it? But to be honest, they need to change the label. They need to make that label a little bit more classy, stylish, just update it a bit, make it not look as cheap, because that's actually not a bad whiskey at all. It's got a nice freshness to it. There's a lovely sweetness to it, and it's like a sugary sweetness that really envelops everything. There's this very gentle oakiness. It's very, very easy drinking. It's arguably slightly too smooth for some people because there's nothing particularly powerful, but what's there is well balanced. It's very, very easy to drink. No, nothing wrong with that whatsoever. It's a, 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 it's a decent whiskey. It's really not that bad. That is all right. I'd have, I would have no hesitation recommending that. If somebody sat around and said, look, I've got this bottle of Laugh Frog, would, would, would you open it? I've got given it, it looks absolutely crap. I'd say, no, to be honest, drink it. It's actually rather pleasant indeed. No issues with that whatsoever. 
change the labeling a bit, make it maybe keep Laugh Frog. The problem with the name Laugh Frog, because everybody that I've spoken to that knows anything about whiskey is going, oh, is it Laphroaig then? No. Why call it Laugh Frog? The, 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 I can't remember the woman's name from um, Select Jams. She actually said, oh, you know, it's Laugh Frog. It's sort of a play on the word Laphroaig. And I didn't say at the time on the phone because I thought it might be a bit rude. Why, when it's a Highland and not an Isla and got nothing to do with Isla whiskies whatsoever? But that's what they've decided to go with. So it's bottled by Select Jams. They, they buy the stock from this distillery and they bottle it themselves. I would recommend to Select Jams that you maybe change the name and maybe change the label. Obviously changing the name, you're probably gonna to have to change the label, but that is a good enough whiskey that you could actually premiumize it a bit. It sounds a bit poncy in marketing, doesn't it? But you could get away with actually, maybe just keeping the same price level and just having a really, really good quality whiskey in a miniature bottle that's not got that jokey name on that people that drink whiskey are gonna go, why is it called Laugh Frog when it's not an Isla? And people that don't drink whiskey are going, laugh frog, what, eh? I don't understand. Um, because if that is a kind of a price point where people are yeah, um, miniatures at a wedding, say, I would have no issues whatsoever with using that as a whiskey miniature for my wedding. I've already had my wedding, that was eight years ago. We actually gave some miniatures of whiskey away that I may have purloined from the whiskey shop when I was working there. But I'd have no issues with using that as gifts for all the people at the reception or anything like that. Not bad at all. Select Grams, thank you very much. Nick and Kathy at the whiskey shop in Lincoln. Probably unlike you, you watching this, but thank you anyway. It was a very kind donation. It surprised the hell out of me because I really wasn't expecting a lot. I'm going to do a quick rinse out and then we are going to have something potentially pretty damn special indeed. So I shall see you at the next one. Cheers.